all across the world, you can hear the sound of a game that roars. The Olympic Games in South Korea are just around the corner, serving as another reminder that what began centuries ago on a sheet of ice in Scotland has gone truly global. This winter, the tradition continues in a new locale, Omaha, Nebraska. Four teams from three different continents come together to see who will emerge with the coveted American Cup. Last season, after three years of trying, that honor finally belonged to Team USA. Now with the U.S. Olympic trials fast approaching, a new set of American faces will look to defend the crown. Tonight at Baxter Arena, American skip Jamie Sinclair leads the women's team into draw number two. Does this foursome have what it takes to hold off an upstart squad from Scotland and try and earn crucial points in the campaign for the cup? It's a question that will be answered tonight. NBCSN Curling Night in America. NBCSN proudly presents another edition of NBCSN Curling Night in America, season four of this series, setting up shop in Omaha, Nebraska. And inside Baxter Arena, normally home of the Omaha Mavericks college hockey team, it's the best and brightest from around the world in curling. The Olympic Channel, home of Team USA, presents Scotland and the United States, the ladies taking center stage tonight. Hi again, welcome back to Omaha and another edition of NBCSN Curling Night in America alongside eight-time U.S. national champion, 2006 Olympic bronze medalist Pete Fenson. Jason Knapp with you here. And Pete, another pit stop on the road to South Korea and the upcoming Winter Games in February. Yeah, fantastic event as preparation for these teams to get ready for the trials and hopefully on to the Olympics. Yeah, we'll see with the trials here for the men and women at Baxter Arena in Omaha in just a few weeks. Let's run the format for our competition for you if you're unfamiliar with it. There are four countries here, China, Japan, Scotland, and the United States, each with three teams competing in men's, women's, and mixed doubles. The winners of each of those categories will take home an honor, and the overall top country brings home the American Cup. And Pete, for our game tonight, it's the American women matched up against Scotland. And Jamie Sinclair starting to come into her own as a skip and her team really showing some growth. They are a threat to win the Olympic spot for the U.S. in a few weeks. Yeah, that's right. This team's really been working hard and coming into their own. Fairly young, but gaining experience all the time and uh, really looking forward to seeing how well they play leading into Pyeongchang. Well, tonight's opponent, the Scottish women, of course, Scotland, the birthplace of the game hundreds of years ago. That's where it was born. The team the Americans will play tonight, not born too long ago. None of them are older than age 21, including their skip, Sophie Jackson. Yeah, that's right. But, you know, they did get to play at the World Junior Championships last year. They're the Scottish national champions, and Scotland always produces such strong teams. They've got a great program. Well, we'll see how it shakes out for the United States women and Scotland tonight. And for more on our feature game, let's check in again with our partner, Trenny Kuznarek. Guys, thanks very much. I'm here with Jamie Sinclair, uh, the skip for the w women's team. Jamie, I know that U.S. curling has really put an emphasis on high-performance mm -hmm. training, which is something different than the past. Where have you seen that pl play pay the biggest dividends? Well, I think in, in every aspect of the sport, uh, high performance just means that we're, we're competing with the best, um, that we are the high performing team. So um, that goes into on ice training, off ice training, and uh, that uh, portrays through our gameplay. Speaking of gameplay, what is the key to playing a good match against Scotland? Um, there's a lot of different things that are that are going to be important to uh, play in this game. Um, mostly, we it's our first game of the event, so we really just want to get our feet under us, get comfortable out there. What's the most important thing to getting comfortable and getting your feet wet? Maybe not being too conservative, but being too, too aggressive, finding that balance. Yeah, exactly. It's having that balance is knowing when to switch from defense to offense and, and when to uh, make those changes. So we're going to start off playing a little bit defensive to get our feet under us, make some shots, get some confidence, and then uh, switch probably more uh, pedal to the metal. All right, best of luck in the Thank first you. match, Jamie. Thank you. Jamie, Trenny, thanks. Ready to go here in this women's game. Part of the overall competition. Saw the records there from the opening draw. Japan, the only team to win both of its games in the first session of the double round robin Hi, format. And the overall winner, top country at the end, takes home the American Cup. 
Monica Walker, the 30-year-old lead for Team USA, throwing the first Six. yellow rock for the Americans. The Scots have red rocks. Eight ends in this game, Pete. And for those of you unfamiliar with the scoring, the rocks of yours that are closer than those of your opponent, those are the ones that count. So the skip for Scotland is 21-year-old Sophie Jackson laying the broom for another Sophie, Sophie Sinclair, 20 years old. She's the lead for the Scots. And as promised by Jamie Sinclair, uh, a conservative okay. start, and okay. the Scots follow suit. That's fine. Just trying to hit and stay there, but Sophie's a little wide. Um, no harm, no foul there. Yeah, that rolls out of the house, and you look at the United States no, at the other end, no. yeah. and ready to push one of those 42-pound <laughs> stones down the length of the ice is Monica Walker. Again, age 30, originally from the Boston, Massachusetts area. Now, Six. setting up shop in curling heaven, the state of Minnesota. Seven, eight. And this team in its entirety has pretty much relocated itself there so they can be together and practice and train full time. That second stone from Walker ending up right near the button. And you heard Jamie Sinclair in her conversation with Trendy before the game talk a little bit about being in the high performance program again in the United States changing how it goes about forming some of its top teams after the Sochi Olympics by having the players try out and then coaches kind of pairing players together. Yeah and it's been a bit of a process you know to get the right players together on the team so they can build the right chemistry and you know, things are coming along nicely I think for the program. And some top finishes for men's and women's teams at the World Championships in recent years, even on the junior level as well, with some medals won there. Empty house so far through the opening four rocks as Jamie Sinclair lays the broom for her second. Vicki Persinger, originally from Fairbanks, Alaska. And now part of this squad, Jamie Sinclair Seven. says, Seven, eight. she's the heart of this unit and can make a lot of rocks disappear. A nice chance for this <laughs> team in the oh, opening end here to get a nice feel for draw weight. That's uh, just an open draw to the house for Vicky as well. So simple stuff out of the blocks. Here's Millie Smith, another youngster on this Scottish it's team. Old. were terrific this year when they ended up with the silver medal at the World Junior Championship. So Scotland lying one early in end number one as we're underway on NBCSN Curling Night in America. NBCSN Curling Night in America is being brought to you by Team USA. Every donation matters. Show your support for Team USA and visit TeamUSAFund.org to make a gift today. By the World Curling Federation, proud supporter of Curling Everywhere. By the 20,000 plus members of USA Curling. And by Cryomax 8-Hour Cold Packs, the most advanced cold therapy technology available today. NBCSN Curling Night in America returning from Omaha, Nebraska, city sitting on the Missouri River, right on the Iowa border. In fact, the Omaha Airport, Epley Airfield, is actually across the state line in Iowa as we fly our way back inside Baxter Arena. Just uh, underway yeah. here, our game tonight, Scotland and the United States with the ladies playing here on Curling Night in America. The teams ended up blanking the first end, so Scotland retains the hammer, the last shot advantage, and Rock's already in play here in the second. And the latest stone coming courtesy of Alex Carlson, the third for Team USA. Well, that yellow scoring stone, the one that counts right now, 
for Team USA. Yeah, I think I need a little less. And Red I Rocks for here. Scotland. Alex Carlson looking on as the Scots get ready to see the first shot from their third, 20-year-old Naomi Brown. Scott's here four, trying to four, generate a deuce. Just gonna put that corner guard five, back. Four, four five. Okay, that's fine, Neil. Well, the early call from the US was conservatism. We've seen that play out here so far. Yeah, this is just the way Jamie wants Pretty to play this now. Nice we and open for a few ends till they like can kind of get comfortable we'll on the ice. Too. Scotland's like playing that. along. I mean, they're trying to generate a little offense here, but okay. through that corner guard in the house, so that's going to allow yeah, Alex to fine. just bang away here a little bit. Well, as she gets ready for the shot, time for us to meet the entire Team USA. I don't mind a touch more. Yeah, Monica Walker, lead, St. Paul, Minnesota. Vicki Persinger, second, Fairbanks, Alaska. Alex Carlton, third, St. Paul, Minnesota. Jamie Sinclair, skip, St. Paul, Minnesota. And this team is the reigning U.S. National Championship team, won the title last year in Everett, Washington. But Nina Roth's team from the United States had more points in the season-long qualifying, so Roth's team yep. ended up repping the United States Whoa. at the Worlds in Beijing and finished fifth. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa. Good. Good. But this team with plays nice like that certainly going to be a threat at the upcoming trials here in Omaha. Yeah, the trials will definitely be an interesting event uh, on the ladies and the men's side uh, with some strong teams. Everybody's been working extremely hard trying to get ready. Sophie Sinclair leads Edinburgh, Scotland. Millie Smith, second, Perth, Scotland. Naomi Brown, third, Stranraer, Scotland. Sophie Jackson, skip, Dumfries, Scotland. So you got a chance to hear from Team Scotland, also Show known as the Scottish up. Junior Champs. And as we touched on before, the silver medalist from the World yeah. Junior event last year. Second rock from Naomi Brown. And running that one back, essentially replacing that other yellow in the back of the house. Same turn Scott's wouldn't have minded that rock yeah. curling a little bit more, maybe rolling to the other side of the rings and spreading their rocks out. See, these are real close together. Should be a pretty simple double for Jamie. So the Scots have the hammer, the last shot advantage in this opening end. And our first look on offense here, essentially, for the skip Jamie Sinclair. 25 years of age and this American and Canadian she's a dual citizen was born in Anchorage her dad a Canadian fighter pilot who was stationed there for a couple of years on a military exchange so Jamie spent a lot of time moving around with her family but a lot of time growing up in Canada got experience as a junior curler there then recruited to play for the United States and it's been a staple of this high performance program the last handful of years. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Hurry. Hard. 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 Hold it hard. Hard. Go hard. 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 Good call out. Yes, Nine six. So positioning that second yellow stone as a counting stone right now. U.S. lying too. Jamie wouldn't have minded hitting that rock a little closer to the nose probably and making yeah, this double a little bit more okay. difficult for Scotland. More weight. All right. Sophie Jackson, the Scottish skip, oh, yeah. rolling back. Sorry. We mentioned way, we this way. team, Pete, so ended up being the way. silver medalist okay. at the World Juniors, but it was quite a path to get there. Back in 2016, Sophie Jackson skipped a team from Scotland to the World Juniors, and they finished ninth, which means they get booted the following year, the country, to the B tournament. Well, she went back, won Scotland's Juniors again, went to the B tournament at the Worlds, won it, and then went to the main Worlds and had a remarkable run to that silver medal. Yeah, so pretty satisfying uh, 
path there for Sophie Jackson and her squad being able to work their way back into the World Championships. So the Scots remove the top American stone as the shooter slides out of the house. U.S. still counting one at this point. One rock remaining for each team. And a big break there for Team USA. Sophie Jackson had a chance to make that double and roll to the left side of the sheet and uh, really give Scotland a good chance at a pair here. So Alex Carlson, the vice skip, the third for Team USA, has the broom position for the second shot for Jamie Sinclair. Very focused, passionate individual. We'll hear from her later about her exploits online and promoting the sport of curling. Jamie just wants to make sure she hits and stays on the paint here. That way she's able to force Scotland to take a single. So the U.S. lying too. That one was just a little straighter, a little farther out there. And we'll see what Sophie Jackson opts to do here with this final rock. Just a pretty straightforward nose hit for one here for Scotland. Need to just stay somewhere in the eight foot. Will it hang on? Okay. Okay, so that's fine. It won't. It's a steal of one for the United States out of the blocks. Sophie Jackson can't convert, and the U.S. says thank you very much. It's a one nothing lead for the U.S. after two. It's the fourth season of NBCSN Curling Night in America. The United States leading Scotland 1-0 in ladies action tonight. And our two skips, Jamie Sinclair of the United States and Sophie Jackson of Scotland. Now they've been in this event before. Sophie Jackson actually took part in season two at Curl Masavi in Eveleth, Minnesota at age 19. Jamie Sinclair, this is her third appearance in the four years of curling night in America. Latest rock from Team USA, just getting into the eight foot white circle at the top of the house. So Scotland now after that rollout, gonna throw a corner guard up here and try and generate a little offense, try and put some points on the board. Sophie Sinclair, the lead, is a shop assistant at a farm shop back home in Scotland when she's not curling. Pete, we mentioned Jamie Sinclair and this American team certainly looking forward to the U.S. Olympic trials here in Omaha coming up. This Scottish team Maybe we'll look to the next Olympics. Eve Muirhead, bronze medalist for Team Great Britain in Sochi back in 2014, Three, will lead the charge Three, for easy, easy. their Four, nation three, coming up three. in South Korea. Tight, really tight. Monica Walker Gosh, hoping to have the opportunity to compete at the Olympic Games coming up. Easy. Split center. Easy. And it's interesting for Monica Walker the Scots, part of her background. Her parents came to the U.S. from Scotland and were curlers, so Monica found herself around the sport, started playing at age 10, has made a world championship team before, and looking to make it to the Olympics with this group this year. I spoke with the team regarding this event and their chance to play on this arena ice in the same venue that they're going to play the trials, and they're obviously very excited. They, they feel like it's a, a big advantage for them. 
Sophie Sinclair did not yep. look enthused after the release of that rock. Just want to keep this one on the paint here, trying to roll it under the corner guard. Removed one U.S. stone, but the shooter scooting out. And the hand signals in effect here for Jamie Sinclair early on. Jamie just confirming with Vicky here which way she wants to go about peeling this guard. Yep, yep, that yep, red yep. rock rolled over next to the boards and just creates a little traffic easy, here. Easy, so easy, easy. Vicky has to be careful not to jam it. Perfectly done. Good execution for <laughs> Vicky Persinger. That hit the wolf or hit the rock. We got like a replay. Can we get a replay? <laughs> I don't know if that one's in or out, and I was flying in the way of it. Well, they want a replay. We'll give them a little replay here. So here she bangs this one right off. Oh, out. The other red, and out it goes. <laughs> Thank you. So it is out. Little confirmation that it did hit the board, which essentially makes the rock dead. So just that one yellow stone in the neighborhood of the house, and that one's in the house. As we get another look at Millie Smith, the 19-year-old, and yes, she is dealing with a little pink eye conjunctivitis there in the right eye, but kind of gutting it out, even though that probably doesn't feel very good. Yeah, bad luck for her to nice. come down with that right at the beginning of this event. So Scotland laying out another corner guard as we go to break. U.S. 1-0 lead on Scotland from Omaha. Back on NBCSN Curling Night in America, U.S. still with a 1-0 lead. I like on the nose. Two rocks in the house here, one for each team in end number three. And Alex Carlson ready to go for the United States. Carlson, 28 years of age, graduate of Marquette University in Milwaukee. Two-time U.S. national good, champ, good. both with this team this easy. year and back in 2015. Clean. Easy. Easy. It's easy. No, no, no. Easy. Close. Yep. 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 Alex just trying to hit and stay here. Yep, yep, nice yep. time for Team USA to good. force Scotland to take one here in the third end. <laughs> and that was the methodology employed by Team USA last end, and they're able to get on the board after a blank opening end for these two teams. Remember, eight in game here, shorter than the 10 enders we'd see at big international or Olympic competition. So is this a must score end here for Scotland? No, definitely not. Uh, being the third end, and uh, we've talked before about controlling the even ends. Uh, I think Scotland would be perfectly happy to blank this end, take the hammer into the fourth. Scotland's having a little trouble I don't mind top with the eight. nose hit so far in this game. In front. Rocks are running a little straight. Yeah. Not sure but if it's too much top. ice or yes. just a little bit on release. They got those rocks yeah. running straight down the sheet here so far. Yeah. Wait, it's, it's hitting quicker. Again, yeah, okay. opening eight. game out of the blocks here for like a four young four team five. trying to gain experience after a terrific performance. Yeah at the World Juniors this year. But that's something as you learn, right, and especially cool. traveling across the globe um, for a big competition, so many things these teams have to kind of absorb and learn yeah, from. Kind of like Absolutely, up. adapting yeah, yeah. and becoming comfortable uh, in each location, each arena, oh, wow. each club <laughs> uh, is important to success. You know, getting, getting things going early in an event is important. So we'll see if the Scots can make the necessary adjustments as Jamie Sinclair leaves from the hack okay, and lets that stone yeah. go. Nice, big ad. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Just cleaning. If it's Eight. back, all the way back. I think we want to be back 12 then. Thirteen seven. I think you're there. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh. 
Okay. okay. And that is too much. Was the split on that? 90. Fooled the sweepers just a little bit too there. They thought yeah. maybe it was going to stay in the or back of the rings. They put a couple of strokes on it. So how does that change the dynamic now here in the end? Well, it still keeps the possibility of a blank alive, uh, but still, U.S. lies okay, too you, spread out. They're in pretty good shape here for a force of some sort. Okay. If not, you can just know. Just play control for there. Do that. Yeah. So Sophie Jackson conferring with Naomi Brown, her vice skip, and now the 21-year-old ready to come back and put the first of her two stones in play here in the third end. About the only way out of this for Scotland now is with a rollout by Jamie Sinclair. So they could switch gears. Uh, things aren't looking real good for them for a score of more than one, although. Better work on that nose hit for Team Scotland. So as the Scots discuss a little strategy, Jamie Sinclair sliding back. And this looks to be another simple remove and replace. With the nose hit here by Jamie and the force is on. Um, right on nose, a little roll out's good too. Okay. Same spot as Alex's. It's quite straight on hits. Yeah. When I threw it, so. is a miss for Team USA. Good throw, Dave. A little good fortune for Team Scotland there. They now have the chance to blank the end. A little bit, though. I think it's like straightening up a little. No hit and stay, yeah, the hit nice and roll analysis. out. Yeah. No, you threw that like it was more positive, though. Like more of a. It didn't look that bad. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. That's the one to miss. So I think that's enough ice. Yeah, the teams just need to pick up on the fact that the Rocks are running real straight with a little extra weight. We've seen several of them roll out on the high side by both teams. Well, it may not cost oh, the U.S. a lot, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. but it could cost them the hammer in the fourth end if Jackson can get this one clear. That will work, and for the second time in a three-end span, it's a blank. Scotland keeps the hammer, but the U.S. keeps the lead. one nothing so far on NBCSN Curling Night in America. Through three ends, just that one single for the United States still standing strong. The U.S. in the lead in this ladies game on the latest edition of NBCSN Curling Night in America. Monica Walker, the lead for Team USA, putting out another one. One nothing lead, U.S. kind of been in control of things, Pete, but still just a tenuous advantage for the moment. Yeah, pretty conservative play by both teams here for the most part. Expecting at this point now with uh, the hammer in the fourth. Scotland's going to try and get something going. Well, okay. The U.S. still trying to figure things out. That may have gone a little deeper than hoped. Yeah, Monica was aiming top four there. And here's Sophie Sinclair. Typically like to put that first one in scoring position somewhere, you get a little bit of a threat to the opposition. Clean it then. That one in the back of the house. Naomi. 
nice. Something that, that Scotland can actually use to their own advantage. Good, so nice little set. Good. Sorry, nearly that was me. I just thought, oh no, is it finishing? So the Scots put out a guard. And here's the latest from Monica Walker, who has been six, busy five, academically five, so far in her life. Bachelor's degree from Boston Three, University, four, MBA seven, from Simmons seven, College seven, in the Massachusetts three, area as well. And right now working on a PhD maybe here in five, curling six, in that three. bid Keep to going, yep, yep. Target, make the go, Olympics go. coming up in South Korea. That one in a better spot right in the eight foot. Yeah. That rock's so different. I got to mix that. Different rocks, mixed set, things that drive curlers crazy. Yeah, and something that leads have to manage on occasion. Vicky said she pulled the wrong rock for Monica to start the end. It's like the equivalent of getting a bad tasting drink. They take the leads and they say, hey, you have this one. <laughs> You get the bad rocks. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard right go to it. Go, Millie. Hard. Go, go, go. Right to it. Right to it. Right to it. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Nice weight. So. Right. Scotland trying to hit and roll across the sheet. They're trying to get that shooter under cover. That's fine. It's a wee bit tight. I thought it was, but she said it was good way, so it's my, yeah. Okay. I believe we have our first It's a Wee Bit here from Team Scotland on the night. I think it maybe it was a little light since it overcurled. 10 5. Yep. Vicki Persinger easy, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. has an associate's whoa. degree in air whoa. traffic no. control. No. Works as a title no. assistant no. in a title no. office when no. she's not curling. And that one landing just on the edge of the oh runway God. there. Like, I want to Trying to actually hit that a little closer to the nose. To like that rock rolling to the T line isn't really going to help Team USA out all that much. Scotland now trying to get around the corner guard. They can actually use that rock potentially for a little backing. Well, they want it to stop. Okay, good. Good, and it just does stop near the intended target. U.S. in front, one nothing so far in Omaha. No deuces yet, just a single for the United States and the lead as the action continues in end number four in this edition of NBCSN yeah, Curling good. Night in America. Jason Knapp and Olympic bronze medalist Pete Benson, along with Trenny Kisneric, ice side. Front or roll all the way across is okay. The U.S. plotting strategy here for Alex Carlson. Alex is playing the outturn hit here. I'd like yep. to keep the shooter somewhere yep. in the eight foot. Hard. Just to keep Scotland hard, away hard. from that corner guard. Go, 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 yep. go, go, hard. go, hard. Good. I know this one with my foot. I don't know where you want to put it. It was like. <laughs> Three in the house here for Team USA. Okay. And the United States would love to have this finally end up being a force so they could get the hammer back. Maybe even a steal if things play out. Naomi Brown. You mentioned part of this team winning the Scottish junior title. It's her fourth. Eve Muirhead is the only other woman with four Scottish junior titles. That bodes pretty well. That's pretty good company considering 
Muirhead's pedigree as a world champion and Olympic medalist. Four junior championships is, is impressive. I think you have you such a small video, window of time to actually play your junior career, crazy. being 21 and under. Yeah. Well, Again, head Anna away. Sloan will yeah, be the top easier. team, the one representing I think I need to Great Britain at the upcoming Olympics. But this one, right? yeah, you look further out, down yeah. the line, maybe 2022 in I mean, Beijing, they we'll may be the ones pushing Muirhead in that top yeah. Scottish yeah. team. Yeah, they're definitely in line, in line at this point uh, in their careers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it moves a little bit. It does. You got it. U.S. looking at this right now. And actually, this team had great success. I think we need to stick. Where Jamie Sinclair and this group of the United States want to be, they won their World Junior medal last year at the Olympic venue. That's where the World Juniors were last year in South Korea. And that's where... Nice Jamie Sinclair <laughs> and this U.S. team hope to be um, in February representing the United yeah, States at the Olympics if they can win here at Baxter cool. Arena coming up at the U.S. Olympic trials. Pete, it all ties together. Here's Jamie Sinclair. Ready to let this one go. Jamie's primary goal here is to kill this Scottish Stone. She doesn't really want to hit it right on the nose. A little bit away from that rock in the middle of the eight foot a little bit. Trying to avoid leaving a pocket back there for Scotland. But uh, with that rock rolling so far into the 12 foot. Looks like Scotland could just come around this corner guard now. And be second shot. Freezing the back one's okay. Okay. Got a couple of American stones in the back corner of the house there that they can uh, try and use as a catcher. Is that the same as what you've been giving the rest of us? Yeah. Maybe a fraction, but it's a pretty quick, yeah. It's sort of 30. Five. Five, six. Line's good. Five. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Six. Six. Line's good. Sophie. Hard. Hard, Sophie. Hard. Right here, then. Hard, hard, hard. Trying to get the line right here. They'd like to get this half buried or better. Hard. Right up, right up, right round, right round. Hard, hard, hard. Good Pretty nicely done there. Yeah. Kept it above both of those yellow stones. She'll still have it a little like tricky a for Jamie to remove, so like looks like she's double. talking this about just throwing a second rock here, in the rings here. Her the hardest double, and she's most likely losing her shooting. Yeah, yeah I like that, like right on the O. Yeah. Okay, how do we get there? <laughs> what do you like, top eight? I like top eight. Yeah. She makes it That's looking pretty good to me. Like, just top eight. Yeah. It's not a straight up line we've played, but we've played enough across all of it. I don't think it'll yeah, be. Yeah, just fighting. Anything. Uh, She's biting 12 foot. She looks like she wants it on the other side of the house. We're going for the O. Okay. Okay. Fully. Of course you're going for the O here in Omaha. Like right on the dot org. Okay. Right. Um, as long just as attempting to lie too. Oh, yeah. It's good. Yeah. You get similar weight this Same way. Speed Alex here. was just giving the front end a target. Sweep it right to the O. Should be good. Got a little extra aiming point with the TeamUSA.org logo setting up in the desired spot for this rock from Jamie. Monica and Vicky need to judge this to make sure they get it Just to the eight it. foot Just a piece. at least. So it's cruising along pretty good. Right next to it? It's already there. Sorry, Jamie. And oh my goodness, that did not reach the desired O. Well, I'm surprised Scotland didn't uh, try to get that a little deeper. They might have been able to be second shot and leave themselves a nose hit for two. 
Again, the opposing team can sweep a rock once it gets beyond the tee line. And the Scots didn't go for it there. Definitely would have been worth a try. Half stole this game, yeah. And then over here. Drake Barrier. Are you sure? Because, uh, wait a minute. That's going to have to be there. Yeah, yeah that's no. fine. Probably less. So you stick around. Less than Barrier. Uh -huh. They seem to think they can make this double and hold the shooter. Yeah, like to reach the Barrier. To reach, okay. They can take those bottom two out, and the shooter stays above the other yellows. They would get their deuce that they have been looking for. It's important for Scotland now to make sure that they at least count one this end. Do you think that, or Naomi suggested going too hard for the for the deuce and giving up a steal is not necessarily good. Either way, it's. I think they're both tricky shots. Yeah. It's whatever's whatever one's gonna can definitely get one out of. Yeah, this one then. I think that one. Are they talking about changing it up here, Pete? Now well, they're just clarifying what their goal is. They want to make sure they score. Both shots are both shots for two are a little tricky. They do have just a nose oh, hit for one it. as well. Sophie Jackson didn't sound really super now. confident really oh. over that double opportunity. It's a long ways out Coming still. Oh. And it that's won't so come all the way back, and that's, that's not good. good for Team Scotland. Uh, yeah. I think Naomi Brown may have missed the line call there a little bit. If they sweep it a little bit at the end, they probably make the double and at least get one. A bonus for Team USA. It's a second steal of the game of one for Jamie Sinclair's group. Huh? Two nothing here at the yeah. break from Omaha. The Olympic Channel, home of Team USA, presenting NBCSN Curling Night in America from Omaha, Nebraska. Baxter Arena hosts a lot of hockey games. This one feels like one tonight in curling. A couple of singles for the United States and the 2-0 shutout lead of Scotland here at the break. Other scores from this second draw of our season-long competition. The Chinese mixed doubles team with a lead. Also, the Chinese women one better than Japan currently. And the United States mixed doubles team of Matt and Becca Hamilton looking to move to 2-0 with a 5-1 advantage on Scotland. Pete, meantime, our game low scoring. We talked about it. Opening end, not a lot going on. Yeah, pretty conservative game so far by both teams. Uh, just a couple of opportunities uh, had and missed so far. So a couple of singles scored throw through at the end of the first end for Scotland to retain the hammer. Jamie Sinclair trying to put some pressure on with her last rock second end. Just a hit and stay here to force Scotland to take one. And Sophie Jackson trying to take her medicine and take that one, but can't get the hit and stay. It rolls past, and the U.S. gets a steal of one to take the lead. On to the third end. Scotland with the hammer trying to score, but Sophie Jackson with things pretty open. Pretty routine blank out there for Scotland. So the Scots keep the hammer yet again. They've had it in every end so far. Can they finally score with it here in the fourth? Scotland thinks they can maybe make this double for two, but a little mistake, maybe a line call mistake. The U.S. is able to steal one in the back of the 12 foot. So. A pair of steals for Jamie Sinclair's crew. Without having hammer so far in the match, they've got the lead 2-0. Jamie Sinclair, again, looking to make an Olympic bid with her team and hoping to continue to grow the game of curling. So my YouTube channel, Curl Up With Jamie, I really wanted to share um, my knowledge of the sport, uh, share my story. I really enjoy making the videos. I was really just blown away at how appreciative people were of instructional videos about curling in different countries that I had no connection to. They were learning the sport, they were getting better, they were seeing improvements, and they were asking for more. 
The Olympic trials is a huge event and that's what we've been working towards for so long now. Um, so to be able to play in a trial event uh, like Curling Night in America in the same facility with the same ice, the same ice makers, um, a huge advantage. So we're really excited to uh, learn as much as we can, get comfortable with the venue. Curling Night in America is a, a huge benefit for the sport of curling. It allows casual viewers to just be hanging out at home and they're flicking on the TV and they see curling and then they get in intrigued by it because it's so different and you don't see it on TV. And so that, I think that's great to, to get those casual viewers hooked. So after curling up with Jamie, next episode of Curling Night in America, you get to slide with Chris Plies and the U.S. men as they take on China. Second half of our game tonight between the U.S. and Scotland, it's coming up shortly. The U.S. 2, Scotland nothing as we resume from Omaha. Trenny Kisnerik catching up just a minute ago with U.S. skip Jamie Sinclair. Jamie, a two-point lead, and yet you guys didn't have the hammer at all in that first half. How were you able to have a lead and not have the hammer? What was the key? Well, we were thinking to keep things really simple. Um, that was kind of our game plan to get comfortable out on the ice and to learn the ice. Uh, we got caught in a couple spots, a couple of our, our rocks as well that were, are a little bit tricky to manage. So um, it wasn't our best execution, but fortunately we got a few breaks from the opposition, so we were able to uh, score those two points. How do you approach the final four frames? Do you try to get the hammer back, and does that give you an advantage, or at this point do you just try to stave off Scotland? Um, we're going to try to force them to one, um, to try to get the hammer, especially in the even ends, probably six, um, and go from there. Good best of luck. Thanks Thank so you. much, Jamie. Trenny, Jamie, thanks. Yes, Monica please. Walker starting oh, off good. and end seven, for the fifth six, seven, time easy. in a row. Pete, strange game where the U.S. is in front without hammer at all. How does that play with your mind as a skip? Time you kind of want to be aggressive at some point oh, in this five. game, but you haven't had the hammer. Yeah, well, the way they wanted to play the game was conservatively, and that's what they've done so far. They've gotten a couple of breaks from Scotland. Therefore, they're enjoying a two-point lead. I agree with Jamie. It'd be great for them to be able to force Scotland to take one here in the fifth and then gain control of the game with Hammer in the sixth. We'll see if it shakes out that way for the United States. Sophie Sinclair with the first rock of the end for Scotland. We'll see the percentages shooting-wise for the players here through the okay. opening four ends. Okay. Three. 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 So a guard laid out from Scotland. Pete, we can talk about conservative play, but Every curler wants to kind of get involved offensively and score. How hard does it kind of stick to a game plan or at least the way the game is shaping up? Yeah, I mean, it definitely takes a little discipline once in a while. I think that's all Conditions there. like this Nine. when the ice is so good, the team's starting to make a lot of shots. Lot of uh, it is tempting Nine, to go Nine. after your opponent. Yeah. Scotland's not yep. playing Just real not well Middle, right now. But as we see here with the call on Monica's second shot at the end, Jamie's Sticking to the game plan. No, we're there. Good judge, Alex. Okay. That's fine. It's because I did this. <laughs> As we talk about it, okay. occasionally how important it is when they get into the latter part of the game, uh, just management of the scoring, uh, trying to have the hammer in the even ends late in the game. That's what it's about now for both teams. Scotland needs to put some points on the board first. And the flip side of things, if you look at it from a Scottish perspective, how frustrating must it be for Sophie Jackson and her team have had hammer in every end, and you still haven't scored. Will that trend continue here in the fifth? Stick around and find out from Omaha.
just the skip stones remaining in end number five. And one of these skips dying to score two. Jamie Sinclair, the U.S., probably won't be them in this end, it seems. They haven't had the hammer yet. Um, I was just going to throw normal. But the U.S. still with a bevy of yellow rocks here in the house. No real need for Jamie to stay with this one. Just wants to make that Scottish Stone go away. And lay three. Yep. Nine. Yep. 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 Clean. Clean. That one popped out. Wouldn't stay in. Otherwise, it would have been a count of four for the moment. But still, good play from the United States skip. And staying there next to that other yellow just potentially gives Scotland a, a little bit more to freeze into a pocket, possibly. So the rollout there is a nice, safe play. Should run definitely. Well executed from the Americans. Same now Sophie Jackson yeah. wondering if there's a way here in the fifth to get her two. She's just going to try and freeze this shooter on shot stone. Looks more than you, Miss. Try and make it difficult for Jamie to remove. Glance at the yep. stopwatch. Little conversation yeah. about those split times. Front end doesn't like it. They haven't laid a brush to it. It's a little heavy, it looks like. Heavy and all the way through. A miss for Jackson. Yeah, Jamie. Pretty low key reaction for the 21-year-old leader of this Scotland team. And again, she's the oldest member of this junior silver medal winning squad from the Junior Worlds this year. She's clearly struggling with the ice here so far in this game. She's had a tough time hitting and staying. Here we see that draw sliding through the house. She's gotta try and figure out a way to Rebound a little, get that under control. No, I'm good. Chance for the Americans to put just a little more pressure on things. Easy, full eight. Trying to leave this at the top of the eight foot and just create a little extra traffic for Sophie Jackson to navigate. Good throw, Jamie. Good throw. You said top of the eight foot that's right on the button and now there's a target for Scotland to shoot at to get its one yeah with that being right on the button uh, Sophie Jackson really doesn't have any choice except to play the nose hit has to stay somewhere in the four foot with the shooter Wondering if it was going to curl. It does. Good enough for Scotland to get on the board. But the U.S. with a successful force of one. The Americans have the lead. And they'll finally have the hammer for the first time coming up in the sixth. Unless it's real tight. Two one, the United States leading Scotland. Latest edition of NBCSN Curling Night in America. N six, and the U.S. finally in a power position with the last shot hammer advantage. Already a decent amount of rocks in play as Millie Smith 
The second for the Scots. Let's this shot go. Scotland's trying to take advantage of this U.S. stone short of the rings. That's fine, Millie. Trying to put a long guard on it. You can see that one slides in there. Just a couple of feet away from the American stone. Stop eight. Yeah, I think I have to come around the outside. No, not necessarily. Well, if you go this way, you could maybe get the split, right? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. We've Just top eight. Line okay. Like yeah. a four -oh. I think a four ten. Vicki Persinger getting ready for this shot. She and the rest of this team will be busy at the women's U.S. Olympic trials coming up here at Baxter Arena in mid-November. But also, she and Alex Carlson Three. both have qualified Lottery. for the mixed doubles trials in December in Minnesota. So Just potentially, a couple of members of this team could be competing in two Olympic events. Yeah, with the addition of the mixed doubles uh, to the Olympic format, it really has these players busy. There's, like you said, a handful of them competing in women's and mixed doubles. So lots of time on the ice. We'll see mixed doubles featured later on with the reigning U.S. champions, Matt and Becca Hamilton. They've looked so good so far in this competition, winning their opener, and we showed you their having a lead earlier in their latest game. Again, mixed doubles being added to the Olympic schedule for South Korea. For the first time at the Olympics, it will take place before the men's and women's competition on the schedule coming up in February. Nice one there by Naomi Brown, able to roll under cover into the forefoot. Looks like now Alex has a chance to make the double peel and possibly run the Yellowstone onto the Scottish Stone on the forefoot. Really get things opened up here. Probably needing to hit a big half of a stone here to get things going. Yep, yep. Oh, oh, yep. Good shot, Alex. A humdinger there from Alex Carlson. Perfectly executed. Nice line call by Jamie Sinclair and a good throw by <laughs> Alex Carlson. Red, yellow, red. They're all gone. U.S. lies one. Oof. Alex Carlson relieved and pumped. Wait, stop, stop. Whoa. Whoa. Slight control. Slight control. Slight control. Slight control. Nice shot, Naomi. Brown replacing the U.S. stone with a red Scottish rock. Here's the next from Carlson. A lot less going on on this shot than there was the last one, but it's still ultra important. It's an Good. open hit. Alex just wanted Good. to stay on the paint. Nice save, guys. Nothing wrong with rolling a little bit there to change the location up. Just line a little tight on that. that Job well done for the U.S. third. So Naomi Brown lays the broom for Scotland skip Sophie Jackson.
First time for her to shoot without having hammer. So can she do something to muck up the plans for Jamie Sinclair in the United States and the American quest to get two in this end? Just a pretty straightforward nose hit here for Sophie Jackson. Nice roll, Sophie. Nice. Content enough to let Team USA just blank this sixth now. That's right. Got pretty good weight. Ten sixty-two. They held that well. Scotland kind of biding its time here against Team USA. Not a lot has gone right for Scotland, but yet they're down only a point here. Couple ends left. Jamie Sinclair trying to work her way towards a potential blank. And that one all the way out. Good sweep, guys. That was good weight, just nine one. Good toss. Good sweep. <laughs> a wee bit more ice than what I had the one up. So a decision to make for Scotland here. They they're discussing throwing the freeze on this American stone just out of the rings. And maybe force the US to take one. Yeah. The other option is just throw it in the open and let Jamie Sinclair blank. Yeah, it's a wee bit more ice than I had for the one that I played to top 12. I think like 20. Interesting, Pete. We've gotten to watch this team a little bit, and a lot of times you'll take on the demeanor of your teammates and the skip. Stark contrast to the loudness of the main Scottish women's team we're used to seeing. Eve Muirhead, Anna Sloan, and that group. They are, they're not quiet on the ice. Yeah, this team a little bit more subdued, that is for sure. Yep, yep, hard. Yep, hard, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right here, go, 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 go. go. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, hard, hard. That's fine, it's okay. That may be as animated as they've been with a little go, go, go here at the end of the sixth. So not the freeze, but they expect the U.S. to blank the end. You got it. Well, this seems routine for the USP. And it is, it's a pretty straightforward blank out here. They did discuss briefly they could score, take a two point lead into the seventh end, but have elected to hit and roll out. Carry the lead and the hammer into the seventh. Last rock here, the six for Sinclair and Team USA. Uh-oh, that was not any of the results Jamie Sinclair was looking for. Doesn't remove it, the U.S. doesn't score. It's not a blank, instead it's a steal of one for Scotland. Jamie definitely needed to make sure she has contact here, even a nose hit in that situation is gonna be better than the whiff. So now the U.S. doesn't keep the lead. It's gone. We're tied at two and Scotland has the hammer back for the seven.
No, the U.S. had a 2 nothing lead after four, but Scotland forced to one in the fifth, stealing one in the sixth, and suddenly it's tied up here with rocks in play in the seventh. Jason Knapp, Olympic bronze medalist Pete Fenson, Trenny Kisnerik as well. Glad to have you with us for NBCSN Curling Night in America. And Scotland hasn't done a lot, and yet they're right in this thing. And the conservative play by both teams is really the cause of this. There have been a lot of rocks in play. The mistakes that are being made are inexpensive. So the U.S. first time with Haber for Jamie Sinclair didn't go as scripted, allowing the steal of one. They've got it again here in the seventh. Lying one here. Jamie could have Vicky throw the outturn draw and split the house and lie two. No, 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 no. She no, doesn't like no, that center no, guard no. there, so she's called the peel. And a miss. Second big one for the United States in as many ends. And the U.S. Brain Trust, including Derek Brown looking on. A relatively rare miss by Vicky there. She's usually hitting so well. Just got a little straight with that one. Nice chance now for Scotland to get one under cover. Trying to get this by the guard into the top of the forefoot. No one really enthused <laughs> with their play so far Just in this, this game. Jams. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. Okay. These teams aren't real sharp at this point, but they're just trying to hang in here and make some good shots down the stretch. Carlson's had a couple of beauties in this game. Bit of a bobble out of the hack. Oh, nothing. Never. Nothing. And that may have played a role in the result of that shot. A little bobble there when she left the hack and trying to adjust. A little straight. We've seen, we've seen that throughout the course of the game, though. When there's a little extra weight thrown or if the rock's backed up on release, they run real straight. Now Jamie Sinclair looking on in such a weird game. You have the lead Sinclair without ever down. having the hammer, and now you finally have the hammer, and potentially you could lose the lead. Scotland with another chance here to get around this guard. Actually, lie two now. Good. Okay. I had a 15 on her tap one. And this does kind of seem a lot like the first half of this game in yeah. reverse when like Scotland yeah. couldn't get anything going with uh -huh. the last shot advantage. Okay. U.S. trying to avoid a similar. Sputtering sequence. Here's Carlson. Yep. Oh, yep. Alex trying yep. to run this guard onto the yep. Scottish Rock on the oh, side of the house and make the double. All right, go, go, go. Hard roll, man. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Leave it. Rolled to a pretty good place, actually, guarding their own stone in the 12 foot. Here the Scots thinking about it. They do lie too. 
but they don't want to set up That's a potential nice. double here for the U.S. Oh, and is that what you gave me or me? Help bail well, out the Americans. I'm going to keep the force going here now. Well. Like 40? Yeah. Slow side. Good job. Lines are We're here. Two, three. Three. Scotland just Three. trying to replace the guard. Three, four, four. if you can. can. Don't think you can so. It's three, four. It's coming down. No. Oh, why'd it come down? Just Sophie, if you can. I don't think you can. Just a wee bit. Whoa. That's good. Good there. Good, Soph. Nice. Pretty good spot there. I don't think that that double is worth, yeah, a, worth the risk for 45. Jamie Sinclair on the top of the house. I'm at 46. I mean, you're going to leave her a piece for the, She's for the gonna pick. pick it out and draw for one. If I'm here, she goes here. I go yeah, here. there. But if I'm here and, I give, and she makes the pick, then I have an easier yeah. draw for one. Yeah, I like that. And you're on just, just two inches off. less than center. Yeah. Looks good. Right. Wait, should be good still? Yep. Yep. Okay, so Jamie now has decided to throw the outturn draw around that rock that Scotland just delivered. It sits in the top of the 12 foot. Um, four, four. Okay. Half of the four is okay. Yeah. Preferably fully buried. Half open is not the end of the world. Yeah. Right. Same kind of weight. Yeah. Oh, five. Pretty good. I think it's gotta go. Line's fine. Line's, line's good. good. Yep. Just half in the four. Line's good. Line's a little tight. Line's nice. working pretty line hard on. here. They're trying to line's get this good. into the four foot. Line's really good, guys. Yep. Ooh, nice brush by Vicky and good. Monica. Good. Nice. So on target in the U.S. Good. Getting everything situated good. there as nice. far as the communication. Line's nice. Arm on. Line's good. Oh, Line's really good, guys. Yeah. See, they just sneak by that top rock. Good, good. End up in the back of the four foot for nice. shot. Great look at how everything is connected with the team. Line call from the skip, front end. Alex Carlson is the vice laying the broom for the skip stones. All worked out. Will it work out in the end? Sophie Jackson now attempting to just follow Jamie down into the back of the four foot. Like to just Freeze on that American stone. Coming down a lot. Whoa. Millie, yeah, if you can. Millie's. Yep. Swim it. Got a different yep, line yep, than yep, the U.S. Yep, stone yep. did hard. coming into the house. Hard, Millie. Hard. Keep going, keep going. You keep going. Go, hard. Go, 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 go. Hard, hard, hard. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. That came down so much. So that one that sliding in, That's but eight. not enough on it. So Jamie Sinclair now has a chance maybe to get in for two. Looks like a draw for two for Jamie Sinclair. That last rock, Sophie Jackson's, wasn't handled very well by the front end. They need to get that in for shot rock at least, even if it's wide open. I still think it's about the same time for Jamie. She needs to know more positive, though. I think it's going to run in general. Got to get a piece of the four. It's yeah. six inches more ice than normal. Yeah, yeah. they threw one here in the sun. Mm -hmm. So talking about the adjustment, but Pete, That's what I was thinking, yeah. this section of ice for draws really hasn't been used a lot in this game. Right, Jamie has to go out further to the edge of the sheet here. She has to make sure she has enough ice to get by those rocks in the top part of the house. So therefore, there's some communication about the speed. Line's nice. 
this particular track. I gave it more though. Line's good. Line's good. Easy guys. Line's good. Yep. Well, the U.S. David is lying one. Go, 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 go. Can they get go, two? Go, go, go. Hard guys. Hard. He's coming down go, quickly. Go, go, go. Hard. Go, go, go. Hard. Go, go, go. Hard. 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 Go, go, go. Hard. Front end doing what it can, but not enough. One yellow. It will be one for the U.S., but a golden opportunity squandered for the United States to snare the first deuce of the match. Still, Team USA has the lead, but Scotland has the hammer coming home in the eighth. Three two here, just singles scored so far in the United States trying to cling to a potential win here in the opening game for the United States women against Scotland in this season of NBCSN Curling Night in America. Scotland, though, has the last shot advantage here in the final end of this eight-end affair. I definitely thought it was, like, heavy to start with, and then it comes down. Now, Sophie Jackson, it's there for the taking if the Scotlands can execute on offense. For Scotland with the hammer now, they virtually have two chances to win this game. With hammer and eight, they have a chance for two. But if they happen to be forced to one, it would go to the shootout for the tiebreaker. One, two. Hard, Millie. Hard, hard, hard. Keep going, keep going. So I would expect to see them go pretty hard here with the offense, and they start the end out with the corner guard. Good, Sophie. Good. That's it. So Scotland starting off with the guard. And Pete, interesting here for Monica Walker and the rest of Team USA as they play this last end. Normally, if you can get the force, you got extra ends, you have the hammer, and you have the advantage, essentially. But in our format on Curling Night in America, it's a shot, a draw to the button for the tiebreaker if we're tied at the end of this. So even if the U.S. gets the force, it's still not a huge advantage. Does that change how you go about your business here in this last end? Well, of course, that shootout does change how you would approach the latter part of each game uh, and how the team is feeling about that draw. Uh, if the ice is good, which it usually is down the stretch, uh, they may feel real good about putting it all on the line for one draw for the win as opposed to playing this end for the steal. Sorry, I threw a lot less, huh? Really good weight. And the number one thing the U.S. has to prevent here is the two for Scotland. <coughs> Walker not super psyched about the result of that last rock. Here's the next from Sophie Sinclair. Scotland was trying to roll the shooter onto the rings. That one being as close as it is. And Jamie doesn't necessarily like it there, so she's asking Vicky to play the outturn hit and roll on. 10-5. Easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Yep. Now it's curling. You can see it take Hard. off from that line. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice one. Pretty good result for Team Come USA. On. That still Come stays on. well enough to guard part of that shot rock. Yeah. What? Did this they get a bit more because of how flat it is? This is more ice. Okay. Like a good barrier. Don't know if things are churning on the inside of Sophie Jackson, but she's kind of remained yep, flatlined as this whole game has progressed. Hard. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. 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 Okay. 
That's fine. Okay, that's fine, Millie. And the Scots content to just keep the front of the house pretty Stop. clean at this point. Yep. Yep. And for the most part, they do have that corner guard out there still. And this rock is yep, I think so. Easy. Three. The next one coming oh. from Persinger. Two's fine, a lot of room. Piggy just putting a guard on here. A lot of room. All right, you take the Alex, if you can. Yep. Get it going, yep. Hard. All right, Alex. Hard, really got to go. Go, Alex, go, go, go. Hard. For a little finish here, they'd like it to cross the center line. Hard. Great Good. sweep. Nice shot. Nice call. Good sweep. Hey. Nice, big. Great judge. Team USA was trying to get that all the way okay. over to guard the entire shot rock and prevent this hit and roll for Scotland. Looks like they have a chance now with lightweight to come down and remove the American stone and maybe roll under the corner guard. Again for Scotland, one to tie and force a draw to the button shootout, two to win. There. Lots of finish there, and Scotland unable to get under cover. Yeah, control. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have miles on both sides, so we're good. See the clocks moving, thinking time now used in the sport of curling, and time wasting here for Team USA. They have to have all their shots concluded by the time that clock expires. 11. We see the clock actually stop there. Yeah. Once the rock is put in yeah, play, yeah. so they should be okay. They're on yeah. third stones here with a couple minutes left. And five minutes hard, plus still for hard. Team Scotland. I kicked another rock. Hit and roll for Carlson. It's my first time, yeah. Rolled a little further than they would have liked. They're trying to just roll under cover. Or the, yeah, I was thinking either, I think that way. Okay, body here? Yeah. I guess if I knows it's not that bad. So as the Scots talk strategy, when we're talking thinking time and curling, this is the time that the clock is moving and once the rock's put in play, it stops. It's reverse of what it used to be. Body here, Seems good. to be whoa. more effective whoa. this way whoa, 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 now. Yeah, well with the way the yeah. game is played now with so many rocks and played most of the time. Whoa. Uh, teams aren't yeah, penalized yeah, for throwing right to draw it. shots right that to take it. longer to get down the ice. Hard on the roll if you can. Okay. Okay. Scotland still dreaming of getting a two and snaring the win right now in this final end. Again, if we're tied, we'll go to a draw to the button. One shot for each team. Closest would be declared the game winner. Like this to roll under the guard. Weight was a little up and just didn't get the curl they were looking for there. Sliding towards the edge, and it just does stay in. Thought that was a wee bit more. Really good weights. Yeah. Uh, I thought it moved a little more. more. Hey, this seems like kind of like mm -hmm. sure. at the dinner table when there's one dinner roll left, and you're like, no, you can have it. You can have it. Nobody wants to kind of take control of this game, it seems. Yeah, even at this point just in the game, uh, it's still nine. being played 
pretty conservatively. Right, yep. Can Jamie Sinclair find a way to limit damage here for the U.S.? Solid hit and stay for the Americans. It's really easy to, yeah, I know. Scotland now with two rocks remaining to Team USA's one. Has the opportunity to go around this guard and get shot rock okay. under cover. Giving themselves a chance for two. We have not had a deuce in the game. Has so Singles for the U.S. in the second, okay. fourth, and seventh. Back-to-back oh, -back ones for Scotland in the fifth and the sixth. Keep in mind, Jamie Sinclair did have a draw for two. Got out in a little new piece of ice and came up a little light. Five, six. Belt nice, heavy. Nice. Six, six, seven. Five. Belt heavy. Six. Oh, she doesn't do it. Right here, then. Scotland eight. wants to keep this above oh, the okay. T-line. Millie. Stay close, yep. Hard a lot line. of curling to do still. Right back, hard, go, 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 hard. go, 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 Hard, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Hard, Millie. Hard, Millie. Right, right back, right back. Good. Okay. Looks like that's wide open for Jamie Sinclair. <laughs> I mean, I like the flop right behind, ideally. I think, uh, I think we, we have, yeah, I think that 10-5 is Held out a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie Sinclair opportunity to hit and lie two for the United States. Primary goal here is to remove the Scottish stone. Last shot in the eighth here for Sinclair in the United States. Looks like they've got contact. Nicely done. They're just trying to keep that as close to the button as possible to make this draw for Scotland as tough as they can. And the U.S. pretty content with where that ended up. So pretty simple, Sophie Jackson with her last rock needs to put that one inside that U.S. stone in the eight foot. Well, my last one just if she does, yeah. Yeah. we have a draw to the button to declare the winner. If she doesn't, the U.S. takes the win. Scotland here just aiming T-line. Assuming they make this one, they're going to go right back and throw another one for the tiebreaker. Just for the next pitch. Here. Nice full soft. Not too shabby. <laughs> Sophie Jackson. Well, we haven't seen a smile yet. Potentially, there's a chance to get one if she can win the draw to the button to decide the game. 3-3 three, three, the score after eight. So it's down to one shot for each team to have the chance to pocket win number one for each in the competition. Pete, especially after a frustrating game like this for both teams where neither could get the scoring going, how hard is it to focus in and remember you got one chance to win this thing? Shouldn't be difficult for either of these teams to focus now. They've gotten it down here. It's one shot for the win for each team. Closest to the button is the winner. And as you mentioned before, 
Sophie Jackson just had an opportunity to basically throw this shot in the draw for one to force this tiebreaker, and she back it up with another good one. Exactly, so Scotland has thrown two draws in a row to finish the eighth end. Sophie Jackson has a pretty good feel for it. The front ends are trying to put it on the T line. Nice. Little deeper than the last shot, but still pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, nicely done there by Sophie Jackson and Team Scotland. They got a piece of the button. So that's the mark that Jamie Sinclair will have to beat. The officials out to mark it and measure how far Team USA will have to beat. Alex Carlson getting things set up. And Jamie Sinclair ready to eyeball things. While she prepares, we'll let you sweat it out. The conclusion of this one coming up in just a moment. NBCSN Curling Night in America has been brought to you by Cryomax 8-Hour Cold Packs, the most advanced cold therapy technology available today by the members and sponsors of USA Curling, by the World Curling Federation, proud supporter of Curling Everywhere, and by TeamUSAShop.com, where every purchase helps support your Team USA athletes. So it's come down to this, one shot for glory for Jamie Sinclair and the United States. Sophie Jackson and Scotland got to the edge of the button on their shot. Sinclair needs to better it Mine's to nice. get the W for the U.S. I think it's all there. Easy. Mine's nice. Easy. Lots of room. I think it's all there. Yeah. It's trying to curl. Looking. Try, James. But it's not moving. And not close. Scotland couldn't get its offense going throughout the night. Didn't matter. They eke out the win 4 3 over Team USA. A little bit of a gut punch there for the United States in their opener. As the U.S. didn't have Hammer early, finally got it a couple of times late and still really never got untracked. Let's check in with Trenny Kisneric. Jamie, a tough loss for you guys. What happened on that, that final rock? What did you feel? Yeah, I mean, um, I hit the split time that I wanted to hit. It just it wasn't the right number, so unfortunately was a little bit heavy on it, but uh, happens sometimes. When you point to just maybe one thing and how this match got away from you, what would it be? Yeah, we just we, we never got a good good grasp of the ice. Um, still a little bit faster than what we're used to, and a little bit straighter. So um, yeah, we just didn't capitalize on that. Conservative game plan from start to finish was that the plan all along, or did the match sort of dictate that? It was the game plan for the first end, um, but then after that, we never had the hammer, so it was kind of up to the opposition at that point to to initiate that move. We were happy keeping it clean because we were leading in the score for the first uh, for the first half of the game. Um, so it was kind of up to them. All right, best of luck in the next one. Thanks so Thank much. You. So Jamie Sinclair and the U.S. will look to regroup as we look at our shot of the day, brought to you by the 2018 World Men's Curling Championship. After drawing for the tie in the eighth end, Sophie Jackson and team from Scotland have a chance to put one right on the button for the win. Get to the side of the button, and that was good enough as the U.S. could not better it. And Scotland takes the win. The Hit and Stay package is the number one way to watch live curling at the upcoming World Men's Curling Championship in Las Vegas. Ticket and hotel packages are available at orleansarena.com. Other scores from this second draw, Japan's mixed doubles team getting a win. The Chinese women beating Japan 7-4. And Matt and Becca Hamilton are 2-0 with a resounding Victory in mixed doubles for the United States 9-1 over Scotland. So the competition looks like this. Japan still the top country overall. Scotland and the United States currently deadlocked for second with China currently in fourth. 
our next broadcast will be the United States men matched up against China. Heath McCormick and Team USA looking to get on track in our next episode. On this night, Jamie Sinclair and the Americans in a close one against Scotland coming up one point short. For Pete Fenson, Trenny Kisnerik, and our entire crew, this is Jason App saying so long and join us again for another night of NBCSN Curling Night in America.